Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 57 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. Today, <laughs> we're going to do stuff uh, with Immersive Engineer. But first, I had a comment reminding me of the goodness of Botania. Uh, so, I have this alchemy catalyst, and I can get a name tag for my kitty by throwing this book and quill into the mana pool. Huzzah! So, let's go take that real quick, because she beneath the name. She is precious. I uh, believe we throw it in here. We say, Viva! Oh yeah, this is great. I could have done this a long, long time ago. There you go. Yay, now you can come follow me. Um, I did a little bit, oh look at this. I set up the whirly sprig over here and this is like the area that it works. This is like a huge area. It's four nine by nines with a three by three walkway in the middle. Uh, on this section, I wanted to see if it would harvest the kelp and the seaweed. And it does, it's crazy. Uh, I also just added some bamboo. I wanna see if they'll start gathering the bamboo as well. I put a little string on top uh, so that it doesn't get too tall. And this is something that I forgot when I first built it. It does require source, uh, so it will not work without the source. Uh, <laughs> I, I sat here for a while and I was like, why isn't it doing anything? Why am I not getting stuff? But that was why. you got to have source for it. Uh, but yeah, it's not like harvesting it. It's just... Uh, stuff will randomly appear in the chest uh, at frequent intervals, I guess. It's not like a whole lot, but it's not consuming a whole lot of source either, so I may have got to get a way to transport all that source around because I'm getting tired of lugging jars everywhere. It's crazy, but there is a way to do it. Oh my god still oh yeah i do see it it's all jumbled up there in the corner now i see that okay but now it's all back to where it goes nice okay and doo -doo -doo -doo. um what was i going to look up about the uh Early spring. Yeah, so, oh, check this out. My whirly sprig is really very happy because their happiness depends on, like, diversity. Um, so the more different blocks that you have, um, the happier that he'll be. And he's just very, very happy. I'll show you. Are you happy, buddy? He's, you can see his mood in the upper left over there. Very happy. Also, uh, another thing, I did mention it in a comment, but check this out. There is a little patch of flowers right here it is. And look, the aura over there has a little plus sign at the, the top of the aurometer, I guess is what you call it. Uh, but yeah, there's like tons of aura over here so i'm thinking i might need to move my uh altar over here or something i don't know um yeah but i do want to um definitely get into some more immersive engineering uh, i've been working on my test kitchen as well I've got a lot of it, especially with the Whirly Sprig over there gathering food now. I've set up a little storage system 
underneath uh, the house uh, with the kitchen uh, to store all the stuff. I'm hoping there'll be a way I can keep, uh, I can have it just stock my kitchen where it's, it will always keep like a certain amount of everything in there. That would be really cool, <laughs> I think, anyway. Uh, but we need to get doing some stuff in immersive engineering and we got the manual um oh no it's getting dark so we got some i think we don't really even have simple machines i don't think none of these are considered a machine it's more like is it heavy machine no it's not even like the the two things that we built last episode aren't even considered like machines these are just basic things that you need uh to get going uh i guess it's in the overview and resources like the the crude blast furnace the improved blast furnace and the coke oven uh, so i would definitely like to get some of this automation stuff going uh, but I think we have to have power I think somebody said uh, Jake mentioned that you can power uh, something to do with the improved blast furnace look at that yeah we need steel which I have been uh, it's been going over here. Oh, look, it made some more. I need to get more fuel in here. Uh, so let's go do that real quick. I should have uh, some charcoal over in my woodshed area. So we can just go over there and uh, take a couple of stacks out. Although I probably should keep the cycle going and harvest the trees real quick because it won't take but a second to do it Whoop. oh you're kidding me one sapling two saplings oh my goodness um, go away go away <laughs> knocked over here oh my goodness oh she this the creepers running away thank you shiva i knew look <laughs> you don't want to come over here. You just stay right there, Sheba. You're doing a fantastic job. Okay, got that one. <laughs> Little turkeys are hiding over here, trying to sneak up on me while I'm harvesting wood. Sheba, Sheba, where'd you go? Oh my god, Sheba, why? Don't abandon me. Oh, I gotta get it above the bush. I need to get, uh, tweak the, the spell on my, my wand there. Did you drop anything? Yeah, okay. Give me a heart attack. We need to get some more. Yeah, I get so much wood so quickly with this. Let's go plant this other one. Okay, that's good. We just chop this one more down. And we should definitely have enough to fill up those furnaces uh, real quick. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and then... Ooh. and then I'll have plenty of charcoal turn in there um I guess I could grab an extra stack out of here and put it in the coke oven as well because I do have some more empty jars uh what the canisters put them all Put them up here. No, they're downstairs. 
Um, yeah, we can put those in there and just make sure this guy's filled up. Throw that in there. Okay, those are, oh, those were empty. Okay, now we can throw some more charcoal in there. This would be nice to be automated because it takes so much charcoal. I think it takes like four charcoal per iron ingot. Uh, so that's pretty pricey. But now we have like all of the steel that we could possibly need to upgrade uh, the furnace. I think you just need one per. Uh, but let's look at that. Because I don't, when I, when I used immersive engineering the last time, there was an improved blast furnace, but you didn't make it this way. You actually just made it improve by putting like a hopper on top of it or something crazy like that. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> the, the improved Blast furnace is a much more professional way of creating steel. Not only does it allow the automation of in and outputs, it can also be outfitted with preheaters to speed up the refinement process by addition of hot air. The furnace is made from reinforced bricks, so you'd be advised to spend your first batches of steel on this upgrade. Awesome. The structure of the furnace is similar to its crude predecessor, but the bricks have been reinforced and a hopper was added at the top to funnel in the inputs. Steel is output at the front. What is this red? Is that just showing where you click? Okay. Slag at the back and the furnace will automatically output to connected inventories or conveyor belts. Iron and coal coke are fed in through the top. Nice. So we also need a, a, a hopper too. So I guess we can go. Wow, it's like raining now. <laughs> it's like I just slept. Um, I'd really like to have, I don't know. I'd like to have different buildings, but I want to be able to access all of my things in each building. Because it's kind of, do I have a hopper already made? No. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know. First test. Okay, we got that, and I'm going to throw that in there. Also, there was an update to the pack, obviously, with the whole backpack bug uh, but one of the things that was updated was laser io dire wolf added uh the the mod filter aha the mod filter right here so i've been waiting for this because i have like all these chests set up up here uh, with different mod stuff in it. Uh, there's so many different things. Uh, some of them are empty still, but yeah, there are tons of mod uh, with their own specialized items and whatnot. Uh, just waiting for this, so I'm probably going to be making some mod filters and setting up these chests up here. Probably upgrading them to iron and whatnot. Also, while we're over here, da, 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 I got some steel and I upgraded our pipes. Uh, this is like the only pipes, energy pipes I have ever. Um, so, yeah, that's doing good. Now I can uh, get some better components, <laughs> not integral. Inter components um <laughs> yeah i'll probably try to get the uh one above the hardened one i i don't know i might be able to make the second that at thermal uh with the it's usually the ender 
the ender stuff. I might have to go ahead and make these two machines to be able to make the ender IO part. Not the ender IO, but the, where is it? Aha, this one, the resonant integral com components that take enderium and hardened glass and lumium reinforced. So see, we could totally do that. It's a signalum and that can be made in the multi -snow. Well, no, that's what we need. We need signalum. What? Seriously, you can't? Oh, we need the... Oh, this is how you make it. No, you should be able to make it in the induction smelter. Aha, there we go. There's the recipe. With some silver, copper, and redstone. We can totally do that. I just need to get it done. <laughs> uh, there's so much to do, though. I don't know what to do first. So we got this hopper that is going to go on top of our improved furnace over here. And I would like to get the water wheel made, too, to get us some power. That would be really super duper awesome. Because uh, this is where I want to set it up, because this is a channel where the water is going to be moving much faster if it were in real life, you know? Uh, okay, so let's go down. Uh, I guess we can stop this. Um, let's just take everything out except for one. Let that finish up. And then when it's done, we'll tear this thing out. Although it might not be good to stick it in the wall if it's going to have to be automated, especially from behind. I mean, I guess I could just stick. A drawer back there with the void upgrade and just have it store some uh, store the the slag and then destroy it when it gets too full. Shiva, what are you doing up there? Just come down here. Uh, because slack can be used for, like, in place of gravel while you're making concrete, which I need some concrete to finish up my build. So I think we're going to have to have this here, since it's got to have a hopper on top. Oh, and we need the steel. I hate it that this tooltip is so big I can't see <laughs> all right oh does it ha it has to be a plate that's right so I'm gonna have to what did I do with my hammer is it in my bag yes um I could just put that through my multi-servo press though but I'd have to run all the way back over there I could just do it like this yeah I think <laughs> I think that's better than running all the way over there and then I'd have to wait for it to do the thing all right we got this we got our reinforced glass brick um And then I think it's, is it just in the middle? Dude, <laughs> I totally love the conveyor belt. I want to make a conveyor belt somehow. Um, okay, so I think I just whack this guy now. It did the thing. Next level blasting. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so let's go. Oop. 
Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry. I'll fix that later. Okay. Um, oh, wow. It looks like... I'll need extra space over here to put the, the output chest, I guess, is for here. Uh, the input, oh, I'm going to have to, like, go up even further. Yikes. Uh, I do have another layer or two. No, I have one more layer after this one. So I can go up a little bit still. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to get, uh, get some dirt. Yikes. It's like a little bit too close up there. I guess we can clear this side out too because it looks like there's also an input or output over here. Oops. Sheba, come down here. <laughs> Maybe I should even go. Yep, because there's the output in the back. And I need to go up here. Yeah, this is going to have to be dirt. Uh, because I don't want it to be... <laughs> Uh, the brick on the top on the dirt. Awesome. Oh, what is this? Salt? Yeah. Oh, get it. Uh, now this is for the slag. Uh, the top, it said it was for iron and charcoal. So, I guess... If I just put a chest up there, will it just... Maybe I can put this? Or do I need a hop? Do I need another hopper? Or does it have to be just a regular chest? I guess I can test that out. Maybe it has to be like a normal chest. Oh, this is this isn't gonna work because there's a block above it. Oh, that's crazy. Um I might have to I don't know, I don't know. Because I can't open it. It's not going in. Three heaters left and right. So we gotta find out uh, three heaters. Blast furnace three heaters. These are cool. Uh, we need iron sheet metal and an induction heater. Induction heater, induction heater. Okay. How do we make iron sheet metal? Four iron plates. Okay. Um, since we need so much of the iron plates, we're probably going to need one for each. Wait a minute. So we get four at a time, so we'd need at least eight. Ah, uh, I think that would be okay. That would be okay to do it with the hammer, right? Just eight. Iron sheet metal. Okay, we got that. And then an induction heater. Oh my goodness! Iron, copper, a copper coil block, and redstone. Okay. 
Oh, look at all of that. Low voltage wire coils. I remember these, but we need copper wire, and that requires wire cutters. Okay, let's let's go back to the base. Uh oh, uh oh. Sheba, why didn't you tell me it was nighttime? Okay, let's get ready for battle. Just in case. Stay with me, Sheba. Scare any of those uh, creepers away. Um, I did have an issue. I had to remove one of the crops from thermal cultivation because it actually killed my first uh, whirly sprig because it damages you like the berries and he just stood on top of them and, and just just died <laughs> and I was like what? so I had to remove the crop and start over uh, luckily he just did drop the charm so that was good so we need to get some oh yeah that's right I need some sticks we need to get some wire cutters. I think it's like this. Yes. And then um, we might want to get some more iron. And we're going to need copper and redstone. Anything else? Uh, brass, iron rod, capacitor. Actually, we can do this one. It looks a little bit simpler. Uh, but we do have to have the crop oil block, which I don't know. This looks... So we need four copper wires and a stick. So we need like two of these. So we need like eight copper wires. Uh... <laughs> I think you get more than one copper wire when you do this. No, you only get one. Okay. Uh, I think you get more if you use a machine. That's probably what it is. So we need a couple of sticks to make this stuff. And a boom. And a boom. There we go. And induction heater. I think I might actually need two of these though. One for each side. Uh, and then we're going to need like power to run them as well. So to make some more of these so I need another eight need another eight Boink. and then we need another so I need some more And a boop, and boop. Oh, I need, I need another couple of sticks. There we go. Boop, and then a boop. Doot, and doot. We go. Now we got two of them. Sweet. Well, I guess it's all for it now. We need to get uh, the water wheel going. Uh, this was a little, I don't know, when I was setting it up, I wasn't really putting it in a body of water. I was basically just creating a water wheel and then putting the water on top of it. Does it really? I don't know. To me, that's just not like a water wheel. You gotta have a river, <laughs> right? Treated wood planks. Um, oh, yeah, here's water wheel. 
we got to have four segments and a steel ingot, which we got that no problem. Um, I do need to get some of the treated sticks. So um, I'm going to need four of those, though. So I think that might be enough, maybe. Oh, I got to have the crafting grid. So four. And then, ooh, a water wheel. Uh, now I could, I could totally see another one of these going like next to it, I guess. Maybe just like lined up all along that little channel there. We'll have to see. See how this works. Uh, I have set one up, like I said, but it was. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Uh, so I think I might want to I also vaguely remember something about when you set this up you have to right click it onto the right type of block uh, like uh, let me see if I can find anything about it uh here do power wires and generators i guess power generation aha uh -huh, the yeah the kinetic dynamo you gotta have this guy and if you did like if you didn't set your water wheel up against this kinetic dynamo it just wouldn't work it would never transfer the power correctly so we need to get this guy too uh, i guess it's a good thing i brought that copper and iron over here with me so we need to get uh oh yeah here's the kinetic dynamo great i had it already bookmarked um so we just need this copper coil so we need some more Eight more wire. I have to make a new hammer. Um, okay. And then uh, a couple sticks. Boop, 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 and a boop again. Ta-da! All right. Um, now I hope this is at the correct level to actually have it in the water. Um, yeah, I think this is facing the wrong way. Do I have, can I turn it with my hammer? I can. Now I don't know which side is supposed to be showing. Is it this side for the output or the little orange dot? What does it say? Transferring power is quite helpful provided you have power. To actually generate flux, you can use the kinetic forces of windmills and water wheels. Connecting these to a dynamo will generate power based on how fast they turn. The water wheel is a fairly easy way of powering a dynamo. Its turn speed is based on the water flowing around it. So for optimal results, you'll want to direct the water in a semicircle from the top down one side and along the bottom. Up to three water wheels can be placed against each other. Aha, uh -huh, so we can do that. Uh, there's the windmill, but it doesn't say anything about the kinetic dynamo. Can, doesn't have another. How do I go back? Ah, okay. 
overview and resources. Uh, maybe it'll be in the basic wiring. The energy net of immersive engineering has four important components. Connectors as inputs and outputs for the net. Relays to connect wires together and transformers to switch between different levels of wire. Okay, to connect two blocks, simply click the first one with the wire coil, then use the same coil on the second block. The total transfer rate between the two points depends on the weakest type of wire between them. Okay, yeah, I remember all this. I just don't remember which side is uh, the correct one to output from. The multimeter. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to... Uh... Oops, <laughs> I think it's the little orange dot is the output so yeah i think it it needs to be this is the output i think <laughs> i could be wrong so hopefully i can place this aha oh, yes that looks pretty cool so we might want to go ahead and do three might as well right I don't know how much power we're going to need or how much this will create. I might even need to go down one more. I don't know. It's kind of dipping in the water. Maybe it'll be okay. Uh, let me see. I still have 36 treated wood planks. So we can at least uh, make another one. Just need some sticks. Uh huh. And then, uh huh. All right. I don't know that we have enough, but I do have some more of the creosote so we can make another one. And I have some wood on me, so how many more can we make? Yeah, that's perfect. What? How did I get so many fluid cells back? Like I only used four. I think that was a bug. Uh. I don't, I don't know. I should only have like a total of four stacks so like this that should be all it is so i'll just i'll just toss those i don't i don't know okay um so we need to get some more sticks and then a boop and a boot. Oh, uh, now I'll have to get the water flowing over it too. Okay. This... Oh, those are so big. Oh, that looks great. Okay, so now we gotta like encase it, I guess. Uh, with some type of wood to keep the water from flowing everywhere. I do like it that it's a nice dark oak looking color. So maybe I'll just use some some of my dark oak wood since I have it on me. Right. So I definitely do not want to actually I might might be able to get away with just being like a trim 
for the water to kind of guide the water. I don't know which part the water would come in. And then we'd need one way of keeping it from, what do you, get out of my way. To keep it from going backwards. So I think get it like this maybe. Maybe this might work. This might work. So let's try it out. I should have some water. Oh, yeah. Uh, another bucket. Oh, yes. Okay. That is doing good, except I didn't cover this area over there. Okay, so I need to get some more wood on this side. Thanks. Ouch. I guess I didn't go that far. Yeah, that's all it needs like that. Sweet. Um, and then we need to kind of make sure it's going under it as well. I don't know if this is necessary, but to try and kind of level this out so I can make sure that the water is definitely continuing on underneath it. Squid, you need to go. Yeah. Shiva, look out! You're gonna get crushed! Alright. Yeah, I think that worked. Shiva! Quit playing around like that. Uh, so... Now we got power, I should be able to just get some wires and connect the things up. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but I mean, I guess low voltage wire. We got low voltage and medium voltage. I don't, this is just electric wire, but have copper so let's just do some copper i shouldn't need much and and a boot oh i only made enough for How did it say to connect it? Do I just click the wire or do I have to have a tool? Oh, do I use the, I forgot, I forgot. Basic wiring. Yes, I know about that. 
Connectors and relays will only take wires the same type that it's already connected. Okay, we don't need like a transformer because all we have is low voltage right now. We connect blocks that match the voltage. So we might need a connector. Oh, uninsulated wires connected to an energy source will cause damage to players and mobs too close to them. <laughs> oh. Okay, low voltage wire connectors. Oh, we need terracotta. Okay, see, another reason why I need clay. Uh, so we might have to get that going too. I just need to get the create part set up. I should have... Did I put it in here? Oh, did I put it... No, it's not in my bag. Is it in here? Oh, look, check this out. I went into the nether because I was almost out of nether quartz and I got a whole bunch more, but I also found an ancient debris, my first one. And I got some more blaze rods too, because I had to make a couple of ender chests for the Whirly Sprig farm. Uh, so yes, yeah, <laughs> I had almost none. Uh, where is the terracotta? <laughs> Oh, this is, this is no good. This is no good. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so we need a low voltage, not a wire relay. We need a connector, I thought. A low voltage wire connector. There we go. And then we might need a low voltage wire relay. Let's just make some of those just in case. Oh my goodness. We got all the stuff uh all the stuff in here. Um what can I get rid of? Uh, you can go in there. Yeah, I think that's, that's all I can get rid of. Let's sleep and head back over there. Holy cow. It's, it's been uh, a little bit... I need to, I guess we need to go ahead and call the episode. I really want to, where did I get chicken meat from? It must have been like a chicken jockey out here that the, the golems killed. So I think we need the connector. We need the connector here, maybe. Uh huh. And then... I don't know how we're going to get it down. Uh, maybe like a relay here, and then we can just boop, 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 right there. And then put another one like there. Now, how do I just, do I just take the wire? Aha! Oh yeah! <laughs> okay. I'm sort of remembering a little bit. And then we connect that. Um, and then, my down. We can put our little blast furnaces. Oh wow, this looks... Um, 
Do I gotta have it facing a certain way? Oh yeah, look at that. That looks like it would connect up right there. Um, so maybe I need to take my hammer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. So I guess I need to take Maybe another relay. Okay, I don't know. Is that going to be good? I think. And then I don't know where you would connect the power. It on the side here i don't know i will have to i guess figure this out off camera because i'm like way out of time dirt um yeah i don't see oh maybe it's on the top there ow uh can i can i disconnect the wire What happens if I break it? Does it get the wire back? Yes. Okay. But it's weird. Okay. So maybe we can. No, I bet I have to have a relay up here or a connector. Would that be what I need? I don't think I'll have enough. And then the connection is obstructed. Oh, okay. So I might need to and then take you away and then just add another block here. And then maybe another one there. And get a couple of connectors. Uh, oh man, I can't reach it. Can't reach it. There we go. And then from this one to that one. And I'm, I need one more wire. Okay, we can do one more wire. Um, I need a stick for you. I just want to see it go. I want to see it go. Okay. And. So it should be unobstructed. Am I doing? It doesn't appear to be getting any FE. Left or right preheaters. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't even get the, the chest to work. I might need to put another hopper on top. I don't know. I'll have to look into this and, and see about getting it working now. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.